Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing October's favorites. I know this is going up kind of late, but that's how it's going apparently. So <laughs> we're going to talk about favorites now. I don't have a ton of things. I have several nail polishes um, and a few a few makeup things and a few TV shows. Let's talk about some favorites. I gotta stop turning in this chair that's so annoying. If you guys want to hear about some of my favorites for the month of October then just keep watching. First of all the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. I did a uh, pick my palette with this. I will have that linked in the cards. And uh, I get it. I, people were losing their minds over this palette when it first came out and I thought, okay, I mean, like it's beautiful, but it can't be that. It's, it's really good. It's really good. I get it. This is a, a permanent item now on the Color Drain website, so you uh, don't have to you know, try to find it secondhand or hunt down restocks. It is a permanent item. So that is exciting. So the Color Drain Queen of Hearts palette was my first favorite. The other thing that I used several times and quite liked was this Ardell Sensual Eyes Quad. This came in the Derma E and Yes Hippolito Favorites box. I had never tried any Ardell makeup before. Um, my Ulta stores don't sell Ardell makeup in stores but I know they do sell it online. This is in the shade Cabana or this little quad is called Cabana and there's one matte and three shimmery shades. I do wish that this one was also a matte, like these two are mattes and these two are the shimmer metallic shades, but that's not that big of a deal. But this was a really nice little quad. I, I'm i pretty sure this was like six, seven bucks. It's fairly affordable and the colors are nice. I haven't looked into any other color schemes that they might have. And uh, I, I quite like this. I, I a lot of times just used this brown all in the crease. I keep wanting to say all up in the crease, but that sounds really, Weird, I don't know. This uh, on the in the crease and then this all over the lid and it was really easy. That's my favorite. And pretty. I did use the orange shade. Uh, I did foil it, but I foil everything. So. This is sort of a half favorite, half unfavorite. <laughs> this is the Butter London Oh My How High Mascara and the first like three times that I used this I absolutely loved it. It gives amazing length to your lashes but it gets really, not dry, but just like a gummy, weird texture very quickly. And I don't like that. I've never tried the old saline and mascara trick to try to revive one. I might have to try that with this because I've used this only a handful of times and the consistency has changed so much. So initially I loved this mascara. I thought it was really, really lengthening, really impressive and the consistency just changed so much. So I liked this and if I can fix it, yes, I, I will still like it. But it is a little disappointing that it, it changed so much so quickly. The other thing is sort of random. So this whole thing with Essence, this is confusing to me and I don't understand how it happened. Um, this was advertised in the Ulta stores as a collaboration with Casey Holmes but then they covered the Casey Holmes part and put these labels, which are wrong. It's supposed to be, I didn't even realize this at first, but on the back it does say Peachy Keen, but it's Peachy Bean, and the other one is Jelly Keen, but it's supposed to be Jelly, I don't know, whatever. That didn't really bother me, I just thought it was a cute, like, random flip thing, but no, that was wrong. And then on the back it still talks about Casey Holmes. It's not very confusing. However, I really like the Essence blushes. Uh, the Satin Touch blushes from Essence are some of my favorites. They only have two colors and I wanted more so I was hoping these were very similar to that formula. I don't think these are quite as good as the Satin Touch blushes but they are very nice and buildable and blendable. I I've even worn this one a few times and it looks horrifyingly orange in the pan but it, it blends out nicely. The highlights aren't as much my favorite. These are more highlight toppers which isn't something I reach for all that often they're okay highlights, but I mainly really like these these blush options in this palette. And then I feel weird liking it because it seems sort of shady. That I don't like them, but I like the blushes so far. The other highlight that I've been using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy highlight. I loved this when this first when I first purchased this, and I had, you know, I put it away after a while and was using other things, and I saw a post that they're 
bringing this back for um, holiday 2018 so I think December 7th is the date that this will be available again and so I thought you know what I need to pull that out and use that because that is a beautiful highlight I use it a lot it doesn't look like it you don't need to use a lot because the powder is so finely milled in the pan it looks like oh yeah it's like a really hard pan but then when you swatch it it is the smoothest silkiest powder it's so beautiful I don't actually think I put any highlight on today how is that possible I forgot to put my highlight on so I don't have a mirror oh <laughs> yes I do there's one in here <gasps> pretty and uh, obviously you can use this wet or dry but I mean that's dry and look at how beaming that is the other item is a perfume and this is the philosophy amazing grace ballet rose perfume and I love rose this isn't a secret if you watched you know one or two of my videos I love rose scented things and this is a very clean rose scent and I just think it's beautiful and feminine and lovely. For nail polish I have quite a few. Three of them are from the Zoya Jubilee collection. I quite liked that collection. I was really impressed with it. The two, well one of them that I'm really surprised that I like so much is Taryn. I was not expecting to enjoy this color so much. It has this violet shift to it. It applies beautifully in two coats. It's a very vivid pink. This is the type of pink that I like if I'm gonna wear a pink I'm not into like baby pink but I really liked this and it had a, a really good formula two coats. The other one is Kateri. This is a one coat midnight brown polish. This is a very cool toned deep brown and I don't have a ton of those. I loved this color. And then Juniper, one of the new Pixies. I really liked Cookie as well but this one, oh I just love this one. This, this green is beautiful. There is a violet uh, shimmer in here. You can't really see that on the nail. Which is a little bit unfortunate until you put a glossy top coat on it which defeats the purpose of the pixie dust even without that visible shimmer it is a beautiful beautiful uh, teal pixie dust i have two from rogue lacquer this was from her i think it's called the wilds of arizona collection it's a four-piece collection i liked the whole collection but these two are my absolute favorites they are uh, crellies packed with uh, red, green, orange, ultra chrome, chameleon flakies. Oh my gosh. Uh, the first is Petrified Forest. This is sort of a dove gray and it's just packed with those flakies. And then this one is called Geological Wonder and it's a really deep teal uh, with the same flakies. Just, just absolutely in love with these. If every collection we ever see ever again is just flakies and everything. I will not be upset with that. I love flakies so much. I mean, okay, yeah. We, I would like other things too, but I love flakies. One from the Grinch collection, and I'm actually not sure if this video is up yet, but I... This is my favorite from the collection, the China Glades Grinch collection. It's called Grinch Worthy, and it is the Grinch Green. It has a really good formula. It covers really well in two coats. And then the last one is from Moonshine Manny, and this is part of her duo for her Facebook fan group custom. She does a monthly Facebook custom and this is uh, a duo this month. This is one half of it and it is called Over the Top Tober and this is the most fabulous flaky topper I've ever seen. It looks beautiful over everything. It's packed with flakies. There's green and blue and pink and aurora shimmer and unicorn shimmer and unicorn flakies and all the magical elements you can shove into a polish are in here. This is only available through, I believe, November 19th, so you do need to be part of the Facebook group to get the code to purchase it, and um, it will only be available for a short time, so please go buy this because this is amazing. The other one is beautiful as well, but this, if you're only going to get one, get, get this one. The um, TV shows that I've been watching, I started the Manifest show, and I think, I think that's on NBC. Is that NBC? I don't remember. I watch everything on Hulu. I don't watch everything, anything live ever. I don't know what day anything comes on or what show, it, what channel it's on. I, I just watch it on Hulu. Manifest. I have a few episodes to catch up on, so it might have gotten really weird. I feel like it's going to get kind of weird. Like, basically, 
if you don't know what shows around. Basically, these people board this plane and there's some turbulence for a minute, and when they land, it's five and a half years later. And they were, they didn't go anywhere for five and a half years, but like all this time passed and they were on this plane, and so they're trying to figure out like, what is happening? Why? I don't love the show. I'm interested enough to keep watching it, but I feel like I will probably not want to keep watching it. But I shouldn't say that because I don't. I, maybe maybe something amazing will happen. But I'm torn on it. I don't dislike it, but I'm not totally in love with it. I'm interested enough to want to keep watching, but not interested enough that I have to keep watching every week. Like I've got two or three episodes that I've got to catch up on, and I'm like, mm, whatever. I started watching New Amsterdam. I don't know why I watch so many medical drama shows because this is just me personally. The medical field does not interest me in any way. You you could not pay me the most obscene amount of money in the world to ever work in the medical field. Nothing about that sounds appealing to me. I'm so thankful that people do want to do that, but I don't. So I don't know why I want to watch medical and crime drama shows. I don't want to be a cop either. Uh, anyway, I started watching New Amsterdam and one of the char one of the characters on the show, I was like, man, who is that guy? He sounds so familiar. I cannot think of what he's been in. And he has this big beard and I was like, man, I cannot place where I know him from. And so I looked it up and the first thing that came up was um, that he does the voice of Hunk on Voltron. And I was like, oh, well, yeah, that's it. We watch Voltron on repeat. My daughter loves Voltron. <laughs> and he voices the character Hunk on Voltron, so that was kind of funny. But I do like New Amsterdam. I think this is based on a true story. I, I think the hospital's in New York, and I think it's called Bellevue Hospital. I don't really know. But I do like New Amsterdam. It's, uh, you know, it's a medical drama. I, I don't know. They're, they're kind of, they're kind of all the same. But I, I've been liking that one and staying caught up on that one. A Million Little Things with James Roday from Psych. And I, I'm just going to be honest, I'm watching it because James Roday is in it. And Psych is one of my favorite TV shows of all time. And I really enjoy James Roday's acting personality. I don't know him in real life, so I don't know what his real personality is like. But I like his acting. And he, his personality on this show is not the same as it is on psych but there are little sprinkles of sean spencer in this character and it's it just makes me happy i feel like a million little things is kind of supposed to be abc's answer to this is us i think that there are sad elements on a million little things i i have not cried watching the show yet and i pretty much sob every time i watch this is us i haven't actually started watching this is us for this season yet i I, I, it's so sad every time I watch it that I don't really want to watch it. So I haven't even, I haven't even started This Is Us for this season, but I do like a million little things because it doesn't make me cry. That's always nice. Uh, let's see. I finished Sherlock on Netflix. I did not realize that Sherlock ended eight years ago. I had no idea. And I want more. There were only three episodes every season. Like, I want more. I love Martin Freeman. He's just... I just really enjoy Martin Freeman and everything I see him in, and I I really like Benedict Cumberbatch too, so that was a good one. It was a little creepy, but I'm a wimp, so you know if you like scary things, it won't creep you out. But for me, I thought, hmm. I'm gonna the dog out right now. <laughs> we did. Uh, there's only ten episodes, but we started and finished The Good Cop on Netflix, and I had never, I had, I heard nothing about this show uh, until I on the TV, on the, I, does everyone's Netflix do this? I'm assuming yes. When you stop on a show, it just automatically plays a little preview of the show now, which is kind of nice, but also kind of annoying because I want it to stop playing the same preview sometimes. Like I just want to think about something. So that's kind of interesting, but kind of annoying. Anyway, I saw the preview for The Good Cop and I thought, is that, is that Josh Groban? Oh, okay. Like, all right. Again, I like crime cop drama shows. I'll watch it. And then I realized that Tony Danza was in it, and I was like, oh, yeah, no, we're totally watching this. And it's not riveting. It's not life-changing. But I liked it. I want to watch the second season when it comes out. I hope there is a second season. And it's really funny because 
we know Josh Groban as this beautiful vocal talent and he doesn't sing at all on the show and he's like really nerdy and dorky and like very type A by the book like all the rules have to be followed type of person and it's also like just really dorky looking and then I was putting up Christmas trees the other day and I listened to like Amazon Christmas music or something and all these Josh Groban Christmas songs were coming on and I just thought this is weird now this is weird. <laughs> but anyway, we liked The Good Cop. I thought it was... I thought it was good. My favorite YouTube video of the month... Uh, first of all, I'm so glad all the Halloween tutorials are over. I know that everyone is very talented with Halloween makeup, but it freaks me out to see like really bloody Halloween makeup. Ugh, I don't like that. Ugh, I don't like that. It's creepy. I don't like seeing it. I don't want to see creepy clowns. I'm, I'm really glad that part of YouTube is over. My favorite, however, Halloween tutorial was Leanne Says 80s Workout Girl. That is the best Halloween tutorial I've ever seen in my life. Also, I'm pretty sure that's Leanne's actual identity, um, but it was awesome. I'll leave that video linked in the description box, but <laughs> I was dying. It was awesome. I already started watching Christmas movies. Last year I made a spreadsheet and I updated it every night because I watched a Christmas movie every night with my Christmas tree rating. I'm going to do that again this year. If you'd like to follow along, I post the movies on my personal Instagram. I'm very excited about it. I've been looking forward to this pretty much since last Christmas. <laughs> I'm so sad. But I love all the cheesy Christmas movies. At this point, I've watched all of the Christmas movies that are on Netflix, so I'm watching the movies on Hulu. Um, and then there are some new Christmas movies coming to Netflix, and I'm very excited about A Christmas Prince of Royal Wedding. I'm so excited. So excited. So that's what I've been doing. <laughs> My two favorite songs, other than the same ones that I've been listening to for the last few months, are from Old Dominion. They're both from Old Dominion. The first one is called um, Make It Sweet. Is that a double entendre? I didn't, I don't like it for that reason. I like it because it's cute, but not. I was liking that song for, you know, enjoying your life for what you have. Maybe that's not what it's about. And then the other one is called Not Everything Is About You and I just think that's perfect because everyone is so narcissistic and like conceited and thinks everything is about them and it's it's really not. The song comes on and I say out loud and there ain't no road that I can't go down and I don't think twice when I pass your house all the time. Yeah, the rain just rolls right off my back and I don't get caught in the same old traps I can hear your name and fall asleep just fine. Yeah, the world don't revolve around you. Not everything's about you. I know that's about a relationship, but it really applies to everyone. Not everything is about you. Uh, the other song that I, I do actually quite like is from Jake Owen. It's called I Go Down to the Honky Tonk. And that is everything. It's almost Thanksgiving. I can't believe it. This is crazy. I have Christmas trees up already. We're doing it. Alright. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. What were your favorite things in November? Did you see any good movies? Wait, no, October. What were your favorites in October? What are your favorites? Let me know. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.